Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm currently inside of a live right at the money hourly binary trade here on Slash NQ. So let me show you the trade here. I bought 65.52, right in at 50, no need to stop loss. And uh, we'll go through the TP target here in just a second. Uh, but I'm giving myself an hour and 54 minutes to get a nice little bull pop and then I'll TP. But what I want to do is I want to take you through how you can use BTG charts uh, to make and find really extremely high probability uh, trades every single day. So first things first, I want to take you through here the bird's eye view uh, on slash and Q. So let's take you through that process. So as you can see, we, as you know, right, we teach you to start on the bird's eye view. We're looking for content and context. We want to be buying into weakness and, and selling into strength. In this case, we have really, really bunch of weakness, right? We're extremely oversold. And so what's just looking at the content, right? What, what you learn inside the course, looking at the content, what's the next logical progression on this chart, right? The next logical progression would be to have a nice little bull pop. Now we look for context. Is this a zone of proven demand, right? Uh, every time we buy, especially when we're buying into a really strong weak chart, we want to make sure that we're when we look left, there is proper demand. Bulls have already proven to see demand where we are buying. And when we look at this, you can clearly see, yes, back in the uh, third week of November, we had clear defined demand. Obviously, the bulls saw value. So there's lots and lots and lots and lots of demand sitting right here. And again, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for literally like 20 points and then I'll just take profit. So I'm just looking to scalp this sucker and we'll, we'll go through that. So bird's eye view, content, context, right? Using everything you're learning inside the course like I teach my wife. Now we can use the BTG uh, charts here on the worm's eye view. So now we jump to this five minute chart. Check this out, look how cool this is. So you can see how last Sunday night, okay, we started to build demand right there. Look at that, on the tick, literally on the tick, on the BTG negative and a half deviation, we had a really strong bull move to the upside. Bears opened up with strong selling to the downside and look where we go, right back to this negative and a half deviation. So there's no guesswork. I know exactly where to buy. When you have BTG charts, we remove 100% of the guesswork. There's no emotions. We're just trading off of really strong price levels. Yes, you're gonna lose, but with BTG charts, you're gonna start generating extremely high win percentages. And then when you're trading at the money, there's no need to stop loss. And uh, you can just get at the money, get bull pops off of these really strong BTG zones, get in and get out, and then go on with your day. Okay, so now with BTG charts, now we know where to enter. With BTG charts, you're also gonna know where to take profit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a 0.25 deviation move. Okay, so a 0.5 deviation move, it's pretty easy to calculate. You just take set minus negative and a half is that's a 0.5. So 6620, 0.5 minus 655, five and a half equals, so 65 divided by two gets us a 0.25 move. So we're gonna just gonna go ahead and use 30 points so if we enter it at 66.52, let's go ahead and duplicate this. 30 points would be 66.82. So we'll take profit right there. So no matter how big or how small the profit is, we'll just go ahead and take it. So uh, 0.25, enter back here at proven demand. We're using bird's eye view content, bird's eye view context, BTG deviation levels. We're using short-term supply demand to the left, and then use a 0.25 deviation move, and then we'll TP. See how you put everything together that you're learning inside the course material. There's no need to stop loss. And I'm giving myself over an hour and 50 minutes to get this bull pop. So we'll pause this and we'll come back and we'll watch this trade play out. But this is exactly how you need to be recording yourself so that you can get help and feedback on your own trades. Quick update here, we're getting a, a good push. But what I wanted to actually show here uh, notice the volatility since I've entered. If you were trading probably anything else and if you weren't at the money, you probably would have freaked out and stop lost right there, right? But because with Nadex, we're at the money, we don't need to stop loss. We can let this thing, we can let this chart, we know the bias is to the upside and there's no need to, because our max loss is built into the contract, we don't need to freak out when that happens, right? So we are getting really, really close to 65.82. You can go ahead and tear your ticket off. And then the second we hit 65.82, just go ahead and uh, buy this contract back. Or sorry, we'll sell the contract back for whatever profit it is. And that's the negative about this. The negative, the con, 
because we don't know exactly what the con what the what the price what the profit will be because of theta and gamma and delta uh be, you know the the price of this binary changes based off of time distance to expiration things like that or distance to the strike and so once we hit 6582 i'm hoping that it's over 80 dollars in that way it'll be over a 30 dollar plus profit and so 6582, which is a 0.25 deviation move, just go ahead and sell it back for a dollar and it'll, it'll fill me instantly at best price. So we'll come right back, we'll watch the sucker uh, get filled. So there's 6582, so we'll just come in here and then we'll buy that back. So you can see how pretty simple are. Remember my entry was off the negative and a half. Didn't freak out when this happened. And then there's that push back up in the 0.25 deviation move. If you had multiple contracts, I would use VA low right there as the second TP target. And then if you had another contract, you would use set, right? So what you can do if you're trading spreads or traditional futures, you can, and so your second TP target would have just got filled, is then you can lock in profits, right? So then you would uh, lock in the TP, you would lock in the stop loss. So then you would have everything above your initial TP would basically be free money. Pretty cool, right? So with BTG charts, you know exactly where to enter, exactly where to take profit, get at the money, get a 0.25 deviation move and take profit. And then if you have uh, other contracts you, you, you with BTG charts, you're always going to know. This is so freaking awesome. But don't forget, that bull push came from what? It came from the bird's eye view demand. Everything begins on bird's eye view demand. Sorry, just bird's eye view. Find content, find context. Then use the BTG charts to know where to enter. And then TP. Pretty cool. Message me or Ryan Smith if you have any questions. Ta this is exactly how you need to be recording yourself so that you can help and feedback on your own trades.